Okay. Time to get a start. Base combat zero. Man, this series. This is actually one of the shorter games, but part of the reason for that is because uh, a lot, there are quite a few missions that have three branching points, depending on how you play the game. Um, there's three, what they call your ace ranks or, or ace rating, where it's either you destroy everything, you destroy none of the uh, optional targets, or you do what's necessary and go kind of middle of the road. Um, and that kind of determines how you go through the game. I'm only going to be doing one playthrough. Um, but the good news on that is unlike most of the other games that I've been playing here in the series, that's going to leave a lot more for my viewers to discover. <laughs> So let's update Twitch. There we go. Oh yeah, let's let this uh, play out. Him. Yeah. This actually has some live action uh, in it too. It happened years ago. Did you know there are three kind of aces? Those who seek strength, those who live for pride, and those who can read the tide of battle. Those are the three. And him? He was a fighter pilot they called Solo Wing Pixie. This man was his buddy. He is the man I seek. It was a cold and snowy day. And what is peace? All right, go get you some get go get you some food, Doss nerd. Okay, let's go fix the options here. We definitely need to make sure that we are on um yeah, 16 by 9. There we go. English subs. All right. What? Ooh. 
That's kind of tempting to do, but I'm going to start fresh. <laughs> Uh, normal. There we go. Oh, him? Yeah. I know him. It's going to take a while. 25th of November, too. <laughs> Did you know there are three kind of aces? Those who seek strength, those who live for pride, and those who can read the tide of battle. Those are the three. And him? He was a true ace. He was a fighter pilot they called Solo Wing Pixie. He was a colleague of the man I seek. Ten years ago, there was a war that engulfed the world. The Belkin War. And in that war was a pilot who trailed across the sky and disappeared from history. He was a lone mercenary who inspired both fear and admiration. Is this Jeanette? the man I seek. And so, with the words of Solo Wing, the curtain rises. It was a cold and snowy day. Ustio. situation on our hands. A major squadron of Belkin bombers has crossed our border, and it's making its way here, the Belay Air Base. Apparently, they intend to attack our base in an initiative to gain hegemony over the entire Republic of Ustio. Belay Air Base... Well, we're not going to let that happen. If our base falls, no one will be left to stop Belka from taking over Ustio. Your mission is to destroy the squad of bombers and defend our base. Belka's invasion must end here. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? All right. Oh, they're going to be rival pilots to shoot down here. Kind of like on um, Ace Combat 2 or 3. Okay. Nothing yet. Um, let's check the hangar. Oh, this is much better. Like, everything is right here instead of in a separate menu. Got MiG-21s, huh? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't have any aircraft? What? Well, let's start the mission and see what happens. Okay. J 35J, F1, and an F5. Okay. Hmm. Got S RAM, you got Q RAM. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to know more about the. Uh... Oh, we'll just go with the F5. Ah, Q RAMs. Good. Those are going to be nice to work with. Oh, I can choose. Well, let's go with the XMAA then. For after all, what is man in nature? A nothing in relation to infinity, all in relation to nothing. A central point between nothing and all and infinitely farther from understanding either. I feel like I should be tossing a wine glass. What is a man? Prepare to intercept. Yeah, okay, ready and waiting. That's only if we 
Okay. So basically, if I were to go after the escort planes as well, my, uh, um, ace rating might change. But since I'm just going after the bombers, that's a different reaction from the game mechanics. Now that's another thing is I can go after that yellow guy, be ruthless, but I'm not gonna, not in this playthrough. Oh, come on. Target that dude. Go. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you have no idea, dude. Oh, thank you! Alright, I'll do one of these. Oh, no, that's okay, never mind. My first impression was... He had potential. I don't remember what title you get out of this one. Thanks to you, Belka's attack on Valet Air Base has failed. Your efforts will not go unrewarded. We're gonna try to stick to the soldier ace style. I for one will be counting on. Ooh. An X O two, huh? I 
I guess I had an old the game save. <laughs> shrouded in mystery. But now, a decade after the peace accords, a portion of the records was finally released. I quickly got a hold of it. Wanting more details, I acquired information from unknown sources. There was a reason for my obsession. Screenplay. <laughs> the roots of the war lie in the Belkin Federal Law Review that took place in 1988. Belka, suffering from economic strife, permitted its eastern territory to secede. And the Republic of Ustio was born. But Belka's economic troubles did not subside. Meanwhile, taking advantage of the situation, the world superpower Osea continued to flourish. I love how you can clearly make out the Great Lakes on the border of Belka and Ustia and Uzia. Power within Belka, aiming to restore strength and stability to the nation. And on March 25th, 1995, with the discovery of natural resources in Ustio, Belka began to invade its neighbors. It was the beginning of the Belkan War. Unprepared, each country fell quickly before the might of the legendary Belkan Air Force. In just a few days, they occupied all territories except for the mountain range. In response, the occupied Ustio government military placed all their hopes on a joint operation between Osea and the foreign mercenary forces. This, of course, can be found in any history book. But I noticed a strange similarity in the materials I gathered. There were several accounts about a mercenary all followed by the code word demon <laughs> but most of the information was incomplete still i was intrigued i decided to pursue the history of the balkan war through this mercenary i was certain i would find something there would it be the hidden truth behind the war or just another battlefield legend I wasn't able to meet the mercenary himself. Actually, it's questionable if he ever did exist. But thanks to some old friends in the military, I was able to track down several individuals who knew him. Soloing is one such man. Ooh, April 15th. Taxman comes. We must regain control over Route 171, which runs through Arlen to secure a transit route for our ground troops. There are bridges along this route, three over the RA River, all heavily guarded by the Belkin Armored Corps. I would love Securing this route to have, the like, a full size the map. Of the strange, re strange real world. Oh, that would be so cool. I am such a map geek. And combining that with my favorite series. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay. Do we have anything interesting to purchase? Said that the uh, XO2. What? Why am I getting a plane like that available so early? I mean, I can't afford it, but... Sweet! I'll, uh, I'll take it. When I can. Until then, I have to deal with these <laughs> cherries. Uh, let's see here. The MiG-21. Nah. I don't have a lot of cash to work with. I think I'm just gonna... Long range air to ship missile. Interesting. I think I'll hold off on those for now. And let's go ahead and save. You know, it's another minor part about this series that I absolutely love. 
I absolutely love is the menu system. It's really well done every time, and every time it's different. Okay. Um... No, let's just go with the F5 again. Wait, was there another color available? No, not yet. Okay. And... Oh, the wingman gets these weapons. Well, that's no fair. What is a man? I know I've done that joke before, and I don't care. Yep, got my uh, YouTube video link fixed, so it's accurate again. Do get a little more speed, and now we can go. Any time. I cancel my altitude restrictions. Um, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. So these AA guns aren't targets, but they're probably important to take out. Dang, I actually have a uh, decent wingman here. I'm not going to crush the houses. Or the windmills. I do want to crush whatever that is right in front of me. There we go. Hey, no problem. Thanks for dropping by. Rest well. Oh, these tanks only take one missile. Interesting. Here they come again, happy as can be. My dog ate him.
Well, at least I'm being careful about not hitting the houses. Although, you know, shrapnel probably will do some damage, but that's their own damn fault for putting... Dang it! Oh, that's so annoying. There we go. Okay, now I can move on. Whoops. I know. Where are... Oh, there they are. Wait, There we go. That's the one major gripe I have. If they can make the targeting better in Ace Combat 7, I'll be such a happy camper. This is the last one. Yay! Mission accomplished. Okay, so I shot down one guy that I had disabled. So we'll see how uh, that registers on my ace rating. Oh, neat! I'm just now looking at Discord, and it looks like uh, it's picking up that I'm streaming on Twitch, and it's picking up my Twitch information instead of just... It used to only go by, like, a Steam connection. And I barely use Steam, so I'm kind of pleased about that. Now I don't, you, now I don't feel like I need to uh, announce that I'm streaming. All right, so, oh, fast forward, sure. So I should see one yellow target pop up. Oh, I forgot you could do that in this. Sweet. Interesting. One of those targets was green. Hm. Okay. Whoops. I didn't take a look at the yellow target thing. 
Oh well. Save. Move on. <clears throat> Head operations has issued an emergency order. You know what? I'm going to see if I can finish this tonight. Really see how far I can get, because there's only uh, 18 missions. There were 28 in Ace Combat 5. Well, let's see how far I can get, because I wanted to have Ace Combat 0 done by the end of November, so I'm a little bit behind. Okay, mostly air targets. Got it. Oh, I'm a knight already? Dang it. Okay. I guess I have to start shooting up some civilians then. <laughs> okay. I mean, ace... Yeah, let's, let's check on the ace style. Flight data results? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Pixie sure isn't carrying his weight very much, is he? Alright. Let's see how uh, how we're doing on the aircraft thing. Okay, we've got 20,000 credits. <clears throat> Still nothing really too new, so we'll just move on. I'm not going to bother saving again this time. Strategic airspace B7R, aka the Round Table. It was the grand stage where we pilots performed. We were all on an equal footing, fighting under the same conditions. No affiliations or ranks to hinder us. Aces from every nation crisscrossed through those skies in pursuit of air superiority. The only rule of engagement was to survive. Got it. Enemies on radar. Exercise caution. What's wrong, Pixie? Yeah, well, you only give me four. Mostly aluminum?
Indigo. Indigo one to all units. Target spotted. Commencing attack. Gom team, we have yes. authorized a retreat. Intercept them. I figured you'd say that. This is gonna cost you extra. Unlike you mercenaries, I fight for a real cause. That's wonderful. Textbook. Oh, that was so sweet. Glad someone does. Looks like we were just a couple of decoys. Yo, honey, you still alive? Yeah. It seems B7R is more heavily guarded than we thought. If it wasn't for you, this ploy of ours probably would have failed. Keep up the good work. Still a night. Well, I didn't have an opportunity to destroy any yellow targets, so... Well, let's see here. Where is the first branching point? Oh, next mission. Dang. Okay. Well, I guess we'll stick with the night path, then. Ooh, I get the grip in! Do I get that awesome indigo color now? Please say yes. Futuro Canal! The Ustio and Ocean Coalition Forces are to launch a joint campaign. The collective strategic military force of the two armies will be referred to as the Allied Forces. The campaign will be called Offensive Campaign Number 4101. Thanks. I, that tells me a lot. To secure a sea transit lane for the Allied forces. To secure this channel, the Belkin forces occupying the Futuro Canal must be cleared out. You will be given a choice of missions in this joint operation. Oh, okay. Offensive campaign number 4101 will be comprised of the following three air missions. First, there is Operation Gelnikos. This is an air-to-air -air surface operation whose objective is to wipe out Belka's air squadron, port facilities, and surface weapons. Next is Operation Round Hammer. This is an air-to-surface operation, whose objective is to wipe out the Belkin fleet, its port facilities, and surface weapons. That sounds like fun. And the last mission is called Operation Cosmo. This is an escort mission. <laughs> what? Whose objective is to protect the naval vessels and ocean... Escort mission, huh? Nope. ...including its state-of-the-art aircraft carrier, which will be making a trial voyage. Fierce resistance by Belkin forces is expected in all three missions. Choose carefully which one you wish to participate in. That is all. Um. Yeah, let's go with the air to ground mission. All right, go to the hangar. Ooh. 
Ah, I can't buy it yet. Dang it. Fine. Are there any good special weapons I can buy? Oh, just the anti-ship missile, but not everything I go after is going to be anti sh is going to be a ship. So, okay, well, let's save before we move on.